What's cracking guys? Omar Esau here. Just about to do some standing calf raises. It is leg day after all. And in today's video, I want to talk about something quick but important. Good programs gone bad and the need to auto-regulate. And what I mean, shut the fuck up. Listen to your body, right? Auto-regulation is the idea that however you feel on the day will partially determine what you do on that day. And here's what I mean. All programming really stems from the Soviet style programming done with Olympic lifters. Now, Olympic lifters or professional athletes, all variables in their life, they're controlled. Here's what I mean. They live in a training camp, away from their family. They don't have any life stressors, right? Their one sole goal is to win the gold medal for Mother Russia. So they go away in a training camp, right? They don't care if their girlfriend dumps them, if they lost their job, if someone kicked their dog. None of it matters. All they do is Olympic lift and they become better at it. So you can depend upon them being always optimal to lift and therefore the programming can reflect that. All other variables outside of lifting are controlled because they live inside this training complex. Now, those programs were designed for those athletes, those elite level athletes. When you take sometimes some of that programming or what we call fixed programming and you try to apply it to individual that has a, you know, a life where there's a lot of variables, sometimes it doesn't blend, right? You're supposed to do a one rep max on that day, but you're feeling shitty. Maybe you got bad sleep, maybe you got dumped from your job as I just said. Social anxiety, whatever the case might be, you have a lot of things going on that are not conducive to your goal. So what ends up happening, you don't get it, you get frustrated and you're like, oh, is it the program or what the hell's going on? Auto regulation, that's when it comes in. All these variables influence your training and you have to listen therefore to your body. On days you don't feel awful, even if the program says you must do this, right? If you don't got it, you don't got it. There's no point being like a dead dog with regards to your training. You have to be smart with your training. That's how you progress over time. And if you look at all the advanced trainees, right? What they do, they basically take a program, right? They build for themselves and there's some auto regulation built into it. I'll give you some classic examples. Right, let's say a day you're supposed to go heavy. If on that day something happens, catastrophic, that you can't lift, then instead of on that day, maybe you'll flip the days. So your light day becomes you know, the day you're supposed to go heavy, and the heavy day will become the light day. So you flip it around, you recover a little bit longer, or you take an extra day off, or on that day you adjust what you're doing. The key point I wanna make, sometimes it's not the program, it's the fit between the individual and the program, right? Your life, what you're doing, if you're busy, and what you're setting out to do when it comes to training. Because we all have these variables that occur, and I've seen it time and time again when it comes to the gym, people ask me questions, is this a good program, is this you know, optimal for me? What works best for you is what matches with your lifestyle. And that's what you'll see most of the elite level athletes, they really have found ways to control all these variables, right? A lot of them you'll see a lot of the junior lifters they live at home right they don't have a job they're just they're taking it easy they're focusing on one thing lifting and a lot of other individuals at that elite level too they organize it so their whole lifestyle is conducive to lifting the big summary I guess I wanted to make in this video about programming and auto regulation is the simple concept that sometimes what's written on the paper and what you should do are two different things and that's okay over time going from a beginner to an intermediate lifter comes from listening to your body and knowing what you should do on that day. How the bar feels, how the weight feels, right? It's not pussing out, right? You're not turning into a little bitch. It's called listening to your body. And that's one of the big points I guess I can impart to you guys right here. So, listen to your body, see what feels right, and auto-regulate when necessary. A lot of the top trainees do that. It would be wise to follow suit. Now, excuse me, that's the video. I gotta go back to this, okay? I gotta do some calf raises, okay? I just, what are we gonna do here, Nigel? 20 reps? We gonna do 22. We're going we're gonna to do about 22 reps. Why are we doing 22 reps? It's a good number. It's a good round even number. Good you don't round do, even number. You don't do odd numbers. We're going to do blackjack today. 21 reps. <laughs> Anyways. Blackjack we, workout. We rambling. I got to go to lifting. Guys, good programming gone bad. It's not necessarily the program. It's the fit between the individual and that programming. Thank you for watching. Make sure as always to like the damn video. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.